Sarah Knobloch played in this park decades ago. Now she's a nanny, and she doesn't want to lose the green space. I grew up work, like playing in this park, so it would be pretty disappointing to have something half the size. The city plans to build a housing project on this and other parks that were set aside for schools. That angers many of those living in this South Edmonton neighborhood. It would bring down, I think, a lot of, um, a lot of value to the surrounding property. In an area filled with multifamily homes, few have backyards. The new development will eat up a third of the park. The city council for the community says residents need to be educated that the park wasn't permanent. There was always going to have something built on it. It's just not going to be a school. So again, I understand that uh, the neighbors are really attached to those parks, but they were always temporary parks. A lot of people don't know that. Regardless of where the city decides to build the new housing units, this baseball field will be affected, leaving even less green space for Sky Rattler residents. Jill Valley worries the crime rate will increase if kids don't have a place to play. We're going to be under-serviced as a park. And the people who are in those low economy areas are the ones who really need it. And being able to come here is preventing social problems in that complex. There's no timeline yet on when construction will start. Christina Partsinevelis, CBC News, Edmonton.